what's up, guys? So consider joining our locals. If you like the fact that we cash creditors nationwide, it's not possible without you joining our locals. On locals, you get to see over 20 caches early, completely uncensored. You get to see live creditor confrontations as they happen. And you get to support the movement that has an arrest in 43 different states and convictions in 24. We do travel the most and cash the sickest. It's only $7 a month. You get more early content than Rumble. We do big content dumps every single month on locals. And can't do this without you guys. Consider joining locals. So you think what? It's like a black lady and a white lady besides him, probably? Uh, I think the other ones were probably nurses, honestly. That went in there? Yeah. Okay. Damn, okay. Just remember, respectful as to them, because we have to go. Man. Just a, Big people need love too, you know? <laughs> just a hundred pounds, you know, the other way. All right. Um, okay. I would just be stay outside right here. Let me go in and pull them out, hopefully. Oh, uh, first, just let me know what these are. Do we see any mics right now? Yeah, let me just clip this on. They say the audio is static. Just... Okay. I'm gonna move this over this way. Is my audio good for her on your end? Yeah, that's what matters, okay. Okay. All right, I think the keys are in the car still. Wait, real quick, get his license plate. Give me a read on it. Oh, is that a Tennessee plate? That looks like Tennessee. Okay, that's where he's from. All right, bet. You got it, okay? Oh, how's it going? Hey, uh, Drew? Yeah. Hey, I got to talk to you about some messages to, uh, uh to, to Kath. Sure. Um, it's just family thing. Yeah. We're going to, I'm not telling your job about this. Okay. I got you. Just kind of go all the way over there filming for your safety and mine. Cause you know, I'm on your property. All right, big dog. You used to play football? No, sir. All right. From Tennessee, huh? Yeah. Where, where about, about in Tennessee? You got some family there. Uh, uh, Lebanon ish. Okay. You know where Crossville's at? You heard of Crossville, right? I didn't live there long, no. Okay, where are you no. from originally? Uh, Oregon. Oregon, what part? Uh, Eugene. Okay, Lane County. Been there a few times. Uh, no, not familiar. Oh, that's where Eugene is. It's the county. <laughs> I'm sorry, again, didn't live in Eugene, so it's like. Oh, okay. Some ducks play there, but that's. Funny. Yes, got you. God, you're a tall. <laughs> I'm not used to looking up at people. Hey, man, you know. <laughs> I'm sure you know what we got to talk to you about, right? And if any of your people come out and ask what's going on, I will literally change the subject to just yeah, like, I yeah, I, I know it's that we just got to get taken care of because 
I'm gonna just tell you straight up, my name's Gordon, sorry to meet you like this, but I'm gonna tell you, man, if you were 50 years old or 60, I'd be like, well, maybe I don't even should, maybe I should just not even talk to him. And, but are you actually 24? I am. Okay, all right, well, let's get this taken care of, man. Um, I'm sure you know what I'm, yeah. about. okay. So I guess before we get into anything, um, how did this stuff kind of start for you, bro? Personal issues when I was younger, and that's, I'm sorry, that's about as far as I don't want to go. Um, that's not an excuse. I know it's not. Sure. And I know I need to do counseling, and I, I know that but that's here and over there. That does not matter for what I did. Okay. And I think it's, you know, like I said, I think there's people that drive around the elementary schools that are 50 years old with an ice cream truck that need trouble, and I think there's 24-year-olds that actually have a good job that, I mean, do so much for families, like cremation, right? That do so much for families that just need help, man. And, you know, the reason I'm talking to you today is I think we can get that help taken care of, okay? Um, so basically, without, I'm not here to judge you, man. Something, something happened to you when you were younger? Okay. It's something that nobody should go through, and I, and I understand why now, okay? Got you. Um, so, I guess you're just willing to be honest about this. Do I really need this? Okay, put it away then. So, just tell me st straight up, I guess. Uh, not, I'm not mad, okay? There's, I'm a big guy. I used to play college football. There's nothing that you will say that'll make me just get aggressive with you, all right? Um, what happened the other day with that girl, with that guy at the park? That... So you want to know the reality of it? Mm -hmm. I have not actually done anything in person. I promise to God I'm not lying. That's more of a online where I said I know I need the counseling. It's the online's been the vent through. Okay. So actual anything in person, it's... Okay. It's, I mean, you see what I do for work. I know this is realistically something. I mean, I'm caught up right here, and that's just from online. Right. If I would have done anything in person by this point, I definitely would have been. Okay. I probably would have been locked up years ago if I would have actually done anything in person. Sure. So do you think these apps, like, tell me about, like, Kick and Telegram, like, what's kind of happening on those apps? They definitely promote it. It's, I mean, I actually went through and deleted everything from my phone. I, like, signed out of all of them because I know he saw my response to her, my fucking blocking her and deleting her. It's, I know how bad this can get. Right. And I, I know that's not something I need in my life. Right, and, it's, and it it's, seems like they, they promote it. And right. They, it, it seems like they try to suck impressionable young people into this type of stuff. Okay. So, I mean, I'm, are there like people on Kick and, is this Kick and Telegram they're promoting this type of stuff? I say Kick primarily, and then they switch to Telegram just for encryption and stuff. Okay. So tell me about these Kick groups. Uh, there's a ton on there, varying from kid stuff to like literally there's something you want on there it's on there okay it's, so they don't really do a good job of blocking it out to people not really no okay got it so are any of these uh you mentioned i think uh, there was a, a toddler group okay Wh who's posting on there random people okay I, I, yeah i honestly couldn't tell you who it's just people and do you have any names of them at all i don't again where it's like my account on there i had it for like a day mm -hmm. and then deleted it and then I, I've done that like a couple times, but it's one day and then delete because I get in my own head again where it's the, I know I shouldn't and right. going away from it. Okay. Um, so these are not you posting in that group, it's other no. people. Okay. No. So are they posting like videos of toddlers, pictures, all that stuff? Pictures usually, I, again, I'm not really on there much. I get on there for like a little while and then I immediately go, this is not what I wanted. And right. Get back out. No, and, and the fact that you say this is not what you actually want, that's why I'm actually talking to you because you know, I feel like I can get, I feel like I can get through somebody who actually is a good person, actually cares about people to get to the real bad guys on these apps. You know what I mean? So what pictures are they posting? And this is what they're doing. I'm not asking you for you. I'm asking about them. Okay. Uh, everything just from the normal pictures of kids, just to like clean your school uniform sure. and stuff to actual like nudity and whatnot. Okay. And are they posting any like scenes in there too? Yeah. Okay. So an adult and a toddler pretty much. Okay. Are these toddlers like boys and girls? Okay. And this is just on the app kick that you can just get on the app store. Unbelievable. Um, and so the last time, uh, well, I guess when did, when did you, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put these away. When, when's, the, when's the time you found these groups uh, or how'd they find you? Honestly, I 
probably found the first one when I was like 15. And it was of toddlers, okay. How often is it infants? Because I, I think you mentioned that as well. Uh, that one actually, I can't say I've actually seen that. That's another live one. Okay, so you think the youngest you've seen is toddlers probably? Okay. Um, so how, what percentage would you say is videos versus pictures? Majority of pictures, probably like 95% of pictures. Okay, so just a couple of videos, not too much. All right, so I, I don't, I, I hate to ask you to relive this, but being that you are my eyes on the inside to get the real bad guys, take a video that they showed, what happens in that video to a toddler? Uh, anything just from, I'm not sure what kind of detail you're wanting. Um, just take one you remember and tell me what happened, if uh, you can. This guy with girl, uh, I don't know, having her, you know, suck, do whatever. Yeah. Okay, how long are these videos usually, if you had to guess? Less than a minute. Less than a minute? 30 seconds long. Do the girls look like they're in pain, or? No, it's just kind of, kind of like they're used to it, maybe? It's unfortunate. These are what, like three-year-olds, four-year-olds? Okay. Hey, I appreciate you doing this, because in the end, this is helping kids out. So, I mean, what do you usually do when you get home from here? Honestly, I spend most of my time outside. Okay. That's the days where I am home is where I find myself obviously more in this, and that's where I know I need help on that side. Getting carried I, away and stuff. I like my time outside. I okay. Like, whether it's in the water at the beach or going for a hike, it's anything outside it helps a lot. Where do you go? Where would you go hiking around here? Nowhere around here. That's, right. Yeah, I've only been here for a few months, and this has been miserable for the hiking side of things. Hopefully and I'm sure the weather the too. Closed, but the weather's actually not too bad for me. I oh, you like the hot mind, weather? I don't mind the heat, but yeah, coming up on the west coast, it's rain and just gray all the time. So that, that's true. Is, that's true. So why'd you move to Tennessee? Work. Okay. Uh, work brought me there, and then I traveled for work. Nice. Uh, and then Again, the weather and it's green. Uh, it's weird. The, the comparison of Tennessee to Oregon was like, holy, it's so similar. The weather was just better. Right. But it was. And there's people with common sense in Tennessee versus, versus Oregon. Um, your name, your last name's not actually Jones, is it? Okay. So how long? I mean, when did you first get on Meet Twenty Four? Probably a year or so ago, I think. Or I'm meet uh, 20, was it Meet 24 or Meet Me? I'm sorry. Meet, meet Me, okay. Uh, I think it was about a year ago, uh, then I was on and off of it. Okay, were you ever on Meet 24? I don't believe so. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think I was on that one. Got it. Um, so with this Catherine lady, uh, I think you messaged her first, and again, she's overage, no problem, but what, what kind of, why'd you choose her? Uh, honestly, couldn't really tell you. I more than anything my message request on there was kind of just a swipe right and message a lot of people okay and that was that was it do you like have any patterns of like a certain type of girl you like or anything like that not really uh, older than me usually older than you the funny but yeah 28 to 32 like my typical happy range okay got it so it goes it goes older than younger like on online it's kind of it's, it's uh interesting um Interesting, I don't know, and again, but I think I could be solved with some help, man. Okay, so is there anything you talked about with Catherine that was probably a cause for me being here today? Yeah. Okay. Again, like I said, I don't need these messages. You've been so honest, I'm just gonna, you know, not read them. What, do you, what did y'all kind of talk about that? Yeah, with her son. Yeah. Her son, okay, how old's her son? Um, three. Three, okay. And what did, was there anything that we talked about doing with her? Or? Okay, like what? being active with both of them. Okay, like having sexual relations with this three-year-old son and all of that. So how did you, because I noticed on your uh, meat profile it says guys will be blocked, but when it comes to under 18, how come that's, a, how, no judgment, I promise you, how come that's a thing though? Uh, I don't know, again, my thing with like kids, more than anything, cute. Uh, it's not even like the sexual side, it's just I think kids are great. Uh, okay. Guys, I have a harder time with this. So it's more of just there, are they more, more understanding maybe or? Okay. So, I mean, besides this, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm sure the stuff that was said in here, I'm sure there's a lot of half truths and, you know, like, I don't think this comes out of your ass. I mean, 
you know, and again, I mean, you said you like kids, not in that way, but in a good way. I mean, do you, do you actually like babysit and take care of them? No? Okay. No, and especially, I mean, realistically, there's not anyone who's going to let a guy babysit their kids, like, randomly. That does not. Right. Got it. So, uh, so how many times do you think you've wiped your gallery of, you know, I guess, illegal images and videos? A couple, more than anything. I really don't keep any of that stuff on my phone. Sure. Again, it's like, I look at it, and I go, that's not that's not what I want. Okay. And then I clear everything through because no, I don't want those people actually putting it out there to have it out there. Right. It should be. Right. Because you're not somebody who actually likes this stuff. You just kind of get carried away sometimes it seems. So are, do you, uh, so did you, do you wipe this from like a hidden folder on your phone or is this just from your photo gallery you wipe this stuff? Photo gallery. Photo gallery? Okay. So that phone, you, that you don't have anything on there right now, you wipe that stuff from that phone? Okay, got it. How long have you had that phone for? Two years. Two years, okay. And on Telegram, what are some of the stuff you've seen on there? Honestly, that one I can't say I've actually seen anything on. Mm -hmm. uh, no, not true. Uh, a couple like clean pictures, not anything explicit. So, tele so Telegram has been the less extreme one. I, at least from my experience, right? Uh, obviously, like kick groups, you hear people talk about stuff on Telegram. So mm -hmm. they're. What's with the uh, signal? Yeah, bad signal. Oh, uh, that excuse. Say again. It's an excuse. Uh, Say that it's an excuse. Uh, just me not me going into my motive. I shouldn't be doing this and using that as a reason to. No, no. I'm saying, do you have the app signal? Oh no. No. Okay. I don't think I've ever had that. Got it. So, I mean, these other people, I mean, what's your dating experience been like? I mean, you say older. I mean, have you been with older people before like that, actually? Okay. Yeah, my most recent ex is 29, uh, so it's... Okay, was she here in Texas or... Yeah. Okay. Here in League? Uh, closure to Galveston. Okay. Where'd you, where'd you meet her on? I uh, actually met at a bar. Okay. Uh, so it was... Got it. Was she, uh, I'm trying to think, was she like a widow or something like that? Or is she a widow, divorced? No. No, just single, had lived a fun life so far, didn't like the whole idea of marriage or anything, so it was okay. on that side. Do you think maybe alcoholism plays a role in this stuff? Honestly, I don't know. I'm a. I know I can't drink when I'm anything other than happy, so I don't. Mm -hmm. I just can't afford not to, so that might be the reason why. I, it might be fear of stuff like that, so that you might actually of be actually better. getting carried away and okay, got it. Just that, but just getting too down any emotional rabbit hole and just right, not having full control of yourself. So what do you do when you bar hop then? Uber around and then just meet people. Okay. Do you live in like, I'm not, I'm not going to ask your address, but do you live with like roommates you said? Okay. Some trailer home or? No, a house. A house. Okay. Uh, the roommates are both 60 and 65. Uh, older gentlemen moved out here pretty suddenly. So it was. You sound at home with them. That's cool. How much are they charging you a month? 650. 650? All bills paid? It's a pretty good gig. And it's just a room you got? Yeah. Okay. So do you like talk to them often, hang out with them? No, okay. Um, so you're pretty much hitting the bars all the weekends and? Uh, no, bars is like periodic. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like my time outside. So right. um, if I have time, I'm you know, down in Galveston at the water doing something. Okay. So w one thing that's a, uh, one thing that's a cause, and like I said, I think this can be a wake up call to address that, I mean, when Catherine was talking to you, uh, you know, we we're talking about kinks or something like that. Uh, so one of them is just going to a park and kind of tell me about that. And again, another one I don't do. That's, I know that one's wrong and I know that's like, that's not okay. But no, that's not what I actually do. Okay. So why with Catherine, I mean, did you share this type of stuff with her? I think it's having someone understanding kind of felt nice. Okay. Uh, that's... Got it. Got it. So basically, this 
so this stuff has been a thing for you since you were like 15 pretty much okay um how often uh, is it kind of shown to you honestly there's periods of time where i'll go like months like six or seven eight months even a year without mm -hmm. doing anything and then if something does happen i have my one day of it and then i get back away it's it's not often got it well what do you think kind of brings you back to it Okay. Uh, like me and my most recent ex, it was not a very clean breakup. Uh, oh, really? There was a lot of communication issues, uh, and I tried talking through them, and she got mad the last night, so I left bleeding from my face and arm. Uh, so it was not exactly the best. Jesus um, Christ. Yeah, not, not the most fun. It's what it is, right? Right, right. I mean, is there a way to uh, try to reconcile with her, maybe? place bleeding not exactly something so she she hit you yeah and did you hit her back god damn man i'm so sorry that all this has happened to you bro okay. i mean what about like did her kid get along with you okay didn't have one didn't have one who's the one that did have a kid have a dated one with a kid okay so one one of the things that uh one of the one of the things that is a cause for some type of alarm, and again, it's not your video, okay? But look, if you've been, if this game has chose you since you were 15, you know, it's kind of like the thug life. Like there is genuinely people who get into the thug life, and they don't choose the thug life. The thug life chose them. You know, I'm I'm the, I'm the first one to say when somebody just f***s up and you know does some shit and gets shot, I'm like, dude, what a, f it's your fault. But you know, I'm also sympathetic too. If you grew up with a single mom and you know, the state raises you pretty much in these uh, prisons they call schools. I understand people get sucked into things, okay? I, I truly understand that. You see, that's why I'm talking to you like this, because I, I just don't, I care that, you know, I, I don't, I'd rather you not be, be a certain type of way, but, you know, is me, is me screaming going to really solve anything? It's, it's not, dude. It's not. You, see, you haven't had anybody to understand you. Of course, of course. Um, so... But I also am, am privy to the fact that I know how Telegram works. I do believe you've seen more on kick than Telegram. There are just some people who just haven't found the dark realms of Telegram yet. There are those people. I get it. But there is, if you're in the game for uh, nine years, 24, nine years at this point, um, you know, I, I know there's no limit to what these people send, okay? Um, so he, here... Here, uh, Catherine asked, how long was the video? And you said almost 30 minutes. Did you watch the whole thing? Definitely, I was expecting it to go further. And that was another lie. Well, you said, she says, what was your favorite? I don't want to see, just curious. She said, watching a four month old session from five guys. Yeah, another lie. Okay. So even if that is a lie, how, how many times in these groups have they talked about stuff like infants, just con communicated? Okay. They've talked about infants? Okay. So, oh. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Drew. So logically, I'm going to ask how many times have they sent stuff with actual infants? Because look, again, I'm not going to be mad at you. I'm asking about them doing it. Uh, that's thing. That one I cannot say I've seen. Okay. It, honestly, I don't know if I'd actually be able to stomach that. Right. Uh, that's. Oh, and I'm not saying you could stomach little, it, man. That's far. And no, that's, I know you're asking what they have because I know y'all are getting your information on what. On they them, do. yeah. And that's, I don't have any information on that one. But they've talked about infants before in there. What have they said about them? Just talking about things they wish they could do, uh, anything and everything under the sun. It's, to an infant? And that's where I kind of, when something like that gets said, that's where I usually go. It, that's wrong, and I, I back out. Okay. So, here she asked that your go-to video. She said, I don't have it anymore. All I have right now is just pictures and pretty clean ones at that. So by pretty clean ones, what did you mean at the time? Uh, it was just like clothes and everything. Okay, what were the age ranges of the pics with clothes? Like 8 to 13. 8 to 13, okay. Where were those, where would those be acquired at? Uh, pretty much anywhere. Uh, whether it's like a stock Google picture or okay. whatever. And how, how many of those, or what kind of, what do you do when you look at those pictures? Can't really say I actually do anything 
again, that's okay. more. Again, I take about like 30 seconds getting into something like that, like actually seeing it before sure. I go. No. Okay. Uh, Do you know those people, Arthur? <laughs> okay. How many, uh, so how many uh, at that time did you have saved? Just like those stock photos? At or? that time? Yeah. None. I well, can't say I've actually. Well, you said all I have right now is just cl pretty clean pictures. And that one was a lie again. Have a look. Yeah, one sec. So it open my actual folder. Here. Get my brightness all the way up. You know, it's like. I got you. So that's so. This is so. Basically, the, the the actual CP would be mixed in with those with those pictures, and then you yes. delete it. Okay. And I have you know, all my folders are all, and that's going all the way back to what, like February. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, nice. You go skydiving? When I can. Nice. Obviously, again, it's outside stuff. Right. Oh. So what was, do you remember the, do you remember the name of that group that you joined yesterday? If you can give it to me? Uh, or two date, whatever it was? So if you do, if you're in kick, here, wait, actually, can you go to the car and get me my actual phone, please? Like, just get my phone. But uh, if you go to Kick and you go to the search groups and you put in, uh, I want to say the first two were like, started like with in the name, obviously, baby. You mm -hmm. can't put baby in the name because mm -hmm. it flags it. And you can't right, it right, 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 but right. It's, uh, baby, I cannot remember what came after that. Uh huh. Uh, but if you straight up just put it, there's a bunch of groups that pop up. Uh, and it's, most of them don't verify anyone, they don't, they just, it's open. Is there a way to look at who's in the groups without actually joining them? No. Uh, you see like pictures, but they can do fake pictures, obviously. Uh, but no, if you, uh, you have to join the group before you can actually message people. And then some people can still have their uh, stuff set privately. Okay. Uh, where you cannot actually message them. Can you uh, write it down? And this is a recent one. Okay. I pre I really appreciate the help, man, because this thing I know this stuff has to go away. I, it's not it's not good. I know that and I am sorry for this stuff. Hey man, I'm the same way with uh diets. I know I have to lose weight, but I can't stop eating steak. Well, I guess that's good, but you know, cake. How long have you been working uh here for? What got you into the cremation business? Uh, I actually grew up in this industry. Really? Uh, yeah, my mom did this for, I don't know how many years, but my entire school life. Okay. Beep, okay, so what do you think? Uh, it was when you search groups, uh -huh. and then it was like, and then something else. I can't remember what, but it was all caps for the name. Uh, so that show, I think there was only one that had that spelling. Okay, and how many people were in that group? Was it like, it was like 99? Oh, okay, so it was, it was full, full, yeah, full group. So when you typed in, so this was, I mean, obviously this was some, this was you typing something in, right? Okay. So how many of these toddler groups, you know, I'm not saying you joined everyone, but how many of these toddler groups like popped up? Um, there's, there's a lot, and that's one thing to be aware of. It's when you search it once, if you hit it once, sure. you'll get one set of groups. If you, if you delete it and then add another one, uh, just again, a new set will pop up. So there's, there's probably 20 or 30 groups. So when I type in it's not going to be some white guy in a suit at the office. It's going to be there like... One. I wouldn't, they're satirical on there. I okay. wouldn't be surprised if there was at least one. Right. So. Do you, well, do you like your job at the... Just, uh, 
I mean, do you actually this like? This is actually where I feel happiest. At a sure place where people are taken care of and making sure that the final things they get, yeah, what they want, and that their family is taken care of in the end. It's so. So do people that are alive come to you and be like, "When I die, I want this." That's actually what I do. I do pre-need contracts, so it's people who want to have things arranged. So when they do pass, their family's not paying for anything. They don't have to arrange anything. We yeah. have the venue set up for them. Sure. We have the cremation process in place, and we make sure their family, all they have to get through is grief. And then we have our compassion helplines for people who don't have someone left at that point and they need someone to talk to, they have a number to call. So wow. they can actually have some. So is this like a nonprofit or something? Or, or is this a know, business? This is a business, uh -huh. uh, but I know they do, they do do work. So I, uh, I know, I don't remember the number that we do, but uh, if a homeless veteran dies and they don't have family or anything, there's a certain number of cases we take on every year where we like do for, it free. for free. Wow. Uh, well, you do you do a noble thing, man. I, I really appreciate what you do. Because um, there are a lot of old people, especially nowadays, that just grow old and they don't have anybody. And you know, but are you hoping to get married one day? Hopefully. Okay. I have my okay. Um, just give, give me the sorry, give, give me the truth on this. Do, do you worry um, when you have kids that you can slip up? I mean, is it something you think about? No, I don't think I would. Uh, I'll get it. No, I think that one would be. Uh, I think I probably if I ever actually did something like that. Uh -huh. I see the guilt would eat you up. You think? Then I, I know what I went through. Right. Someone else does it. Right. So why do you why do you why do you take pleasure sometimes in um, you know even if it's instant gratification? Why, why do you take that instant gratification seeing other people go through what you went through? I mean that's the part where I know something's wrong. It's yeah. That I shouldn't, and I think it's because I haven't gotten the help for anything. So you think you just have to keep reliving it until you do get the help? You think? Okay. I think it's time for me to actually. Yeah, like I said, I think so. I think, so. I think you, you need help instead of trouble. Um, Do I need to find a doctor? Do you think you can get help for this? I think certain people can. I think I'm probably one of those because I actually feel bad about it. I agree. It's not something I want to be doing. And I think there's other people who, and that's where I appreciate you guys because there are other people who they, they would even at least know the questions. Right, and no that, they don't. Got it. Um, so you mentioned these groups. How many times has somebody sent you something like this individually? Like they just DM it to you or something like that? I'm sorry. I got it. Um, every once in a while, I, again, where I'm on like every few months or so. Sure. Uh, and it's if I stay in the group even long enough to get something. Okay. There's, there's a lot of times where I... I get on there, and as soon as I've signed up for an account, I go look. Uh -huh. And then just, like, not even joining a group, I just sign up and go. I, why? So, how many, if you had to guess, how many times do you think someone sent you something individually? A few dozen. A few dozen? Probably somewhere around there. It's not a lot for over the years. Yeah. Okay. And that's, again, yeah, it's, I, I've tried to keep things as minimal as I can. There's, sure. There's better things I can do with my life, but. Right. So, have they only sent this to you on this is Kick? Is there any other apps where they've sent or sending to you individually? Okay, just Kick. Got it. Um, okay, so how, how many times has it been? How many times has it been reciprocated? Like they sent something to you, and then you know, because you're in the mood, or because this is just how it works, you send something back. If I had a clean picture, I would do that. I don't. I don't do the community side of things. Uh, but if it was like a clean stock Google picture. Uh, I've done that, and then the typical response from them is anger because uh, they wanted more. Right. Uh, so they so it's more of them sending stuff to you, and just okay. So have they used the phrase like trade or yeah. pizza mo pizza with a question mark or something like that? Uh, trade, yes. Pizza, I have not. Okay. Have you seen the pizza emoji around? I've been seeing it. I wasn't sure what it was. Okay. Uh, Said it wasn't sure. So when did you find out what it kind of meant? Oh no, I mean like I'm still not sure. You just mentioned it, so I'm, okay. I figured it meant trade now. Okay. Uh, but I, I don't know what it is. Trade now? Is that some username you've seen around? Just trade now? No, no. What, I thought you 
like you just said, oh, okay. just trade right now. Uh, so I thought you meant, it meant trade. Okay, but you've had people say trade to you and, okay. But I mean, so when you join these groups, I mean, do you see the pizza emoji pretty prevalently, you think? No. Uh, every once in a while. Every once uh, in a while. Like maybe a one person account profile or something. Okay. That's about it. But have you seen it like multiple times like, sporadically? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, I mean, or I if you... that's where I was curious. So, like, that's kind of weird for that to be in everyone's. Like, if it's a heart or something, you like, everyone starts putting the pizza emoji in there. That's a little bit. Oh, they put it in the chat? No, they'll have it in their name. Okay. Uh, so, this is pretty much like a couple people every group, you think? I'd say at least like one, and then you'll see like a few groups without anything. Mm -hmm. And then it'll pop back up again. Okay. Well, are you, you know, uh, pizza, the cheese pizza meat stands for. So, but I'm sure that makes sense that, with that the groups. Works. Okay, got you. So there is some stuff I want to go over. Um, you know, your mind uh, could be in a better place, I think. I mean, some of these, uh, but again, the fact that you're actually wanting to get help, and I truly believe you do want help, you know, I think it can be switched, but you messaged Catherine back the other day. Hey, I'm sorry, I did something bad. What did you do? You said, I have a baby. And she says, oh, I see my ask what happened. You said, I was with a friend at a park with her kids. Her son needed a changing and I offered. Once I had him cleaned, I just couldn't help myself. Did the mom find out? And he said, I don't think so, but I'm sure she had to notice the next change. And you said, how old was he? And he said, almost four months. Okay, but then you said the other two were, were four and seven. Yeah, no, it was totally fabricated. That's, that's the thing. It was the talking about it does one thing. Okay. I don't feel the need to do anything more. It just seems to be out of the system right then. But why so much detail? Um, you know, we met at a bar a while back. I mean, did you have, I mean, I, I can't, I don't think your mind goes this, this, I don't think anybody's mind really can unless you're like, you know, Stalin or something. Um, is there anybody that you have in mind when you talk about this stuff, even if you don't do it, like, do you have anybody in mind like, oh, this this person had kids, I'm thinking about this, because obviously when you say, when you tell Catherine, um, you know, I wanna meet up, have sex with you and your three-year-old, you're obviously thinking about her three-year-old that you saw in the picture. Who, who else do you just think about, like their kids? I'd say more than anything, it's just the, like the groups on my kick and whatnot. It's people who have talked about their stuff. And okay. we're like, you know, obviously it sounds sick and it is. It's, you hear that stuff in those chats so it's not like straight out of my head. It's other things that have been said in chats. It's it's that. Okay. It's replicating bad things that have been said. Okay. So this is um. So so that begs the question: Do you think people in those kick chats are posting anything homemade? I don't think so. I don't think so. There seems to be a lot of like duplicated stuff. So I'd imagine it's all just mass shared. Okay, so have you seen the same videos kind of shared over and over again? Yeah. Okay. And same with the pictures. It's, yeah. what, um, what, what's a video that is a common theme in these? So these are in multiple, this video is in multiple groups. What's a video that's a common video that they kind of share? Or what, what is that video, I mean? What's a video you can remember to the best of your ability? Uh, probably one there was like a you know, three or four year old girl mm -hmm. uh, that was just running around naked. That was probably like the most big one, nothing actually happening, just running around naked. But it's obviously to a route, or like to a route, okay, got it. So that's a common one. And, and for pictures, what, do, what would you say it is? Like what's a picture you've seen? similar to that. It's just a picture of just a girl. Uh, that seems to be the preference for people, it's just them. So do these toddler groups post boys in there too? Yeah. Okay, so this is a, got it. So when you see this toddler group, does it go up to like, you know, t like 13, 14, or is it just exclusively pretty much toddler? They'll go up. Okay, I see. How many people I have talked to you online, kind of just individually, like another fellow guy about their sick fantasies? Uh, I'm gonna say none. None. Thing about me not talking to guys. Uh, ends up staying pretty true. I just... Okay. So Ka Catherine's profile, um, 
on Meet Me. I don't know if she even has it anymore. She she is a real person, by the way. Like she's not a she wasn't some decoy. You know, I'm, I'm from Houston myself. Um, can you can you describe what it, what her profile was like? Kind of the description, the pictures, because I want to understand what can potentially like what like I'm trying to what potentially was interesting about her. Like describe everything you remember about her profile. Uh, Honestly, if you're looking for in regards to like this situation happening, uh -huh. uh, it was just it's the statement that she has kids to have and don't want more or have them want more. Okay. That's that's going to be the big one. Did that draw you anything? Just be honest. In her, I can't remember if I added her or if she added me. Sure. Uh, but no, like I said, I add like everyone because whether it's a completely normal, hey, what the hell are you up to today mm -hmm. kind of chat or something like that, I kind of just. I chat. No, I get it. The guys on Meet Me are just relentless swipers. They could all be in door if they really wanted to. Um, so, but you mentioned Catherine saying she has kids. I mean, it, it, you know, out of the hundred people you swiped on, I don't think you're talking to a hundred people. Um, no, it's you know, 20 or 30, somewhere around there. Okay. So did that did profile, you know. did her profile stick out to you in a way because of that? In any type of way? Not really, honestly. Uh, at that point in time, I wasn't like, I guess, down this rabbit hole completely yet. Okay. Uh, and then ended up down. Well, what caused you to initially say um, that your kink is going to the park and with kids? That was when I went down the rabbit hole. Okay. Was, it was a quick transition. I'm not going to say it wasn't. It was a quick transition. It was right. saying, yeah, seeing the kid thing probably, probably did actually do that. Okay. That's so how, how many of these profiles on Meet have you seen? Like, so she had a picture of a kid posted on there? No. No? No, it just, the description uh, was have them want more, have them don't want more, I think. Something like that. Okay. I don't remember what hers was. So you think but her having... No pictures. Okay. But she, did she send a picture of her kid? No? No. Okay. No, her... Uh, no, I understood why, because we had our first conversation. I blocked her mm -hmm. uh, after telling her I wouldn't. And then unblocked her and messaged her again. And then said she wouldn't because she obviously I blocked her and broke trust. Mm -hmm. uh, and then no, no, no pictures were actually sent. No, but did she send like a selfie of her kid? Just a no. picture of her? Okay. Not to my knowledge. Okay, are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Because I don't remember. I mean, did you ask for some pictures of her kid? I did ask. Okay. And then she said no. Okay. Well, I, I think she said I already showed you. Then I'm might be wrong. Again, I blocked her and then I lost chats. I deleted the chats okay. and then I went back. So she might have. I'm not going to say no. Okay. She might have. Got it. So how, how many of these, uh, how, how many how many people like Catherine have you kind of gone down the rabbit hole with? I'm, I'm sure Catherine was the, the most you've ever said. Um, but how many people have you kind of hinted at this stuff with just online? Maybe a couple. This is what I do try to keep a little more decorum private. oh yeah, private it's, okay. yeah it's not telling this side of myself it's, okay it's not it's not good side of myself. right got it so it's only been a few people you think you've kind of delved into this with okay were these also moms with kids yeah. okay uh, and then I mean, one or at least a couple with and then maybe one or two without uh, okay a, a couple with is you know because some idiots think a couple is a hundred which i know it's not a hundred but like what do you think a couple would be i mean like Two or three. Actually. Sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, and where, where did these women with these kids meet you? Haven't actually met. No, I know, but like what, what, what app? What uh, app? Meet me, uh, maybe Scout. Uh, yeah, the sister apps. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And when you kind of say like, you know, when you kind of hint at that interest, what's their response usually? Uh, sometimes it's hesitancy, reservedness, or straight disgust, uh, or some they're like, I guess, intrigued, uh, which is then where, again, I feel because I go, I should not have introduced someone to that. But then I also think they might just be acting. There's a good chance I'm not the one who. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll just. But then I, I do feel bad and I go, why, why the f did you put someone else on that? Right. And, you know, I'll tell you, since you've been so honest, uh, so Ka Catherine's just a friend of mine, and um, basically she sent me what you sent her about the thing at the park, and basically since then I was just coaching her on, like, what to say and stuff like that. So she's not actually into... Absolutely. Right, but, you know, 
Uh, but I, of course, had to see for her safety, for even your safety, for everybody's safety. Um, so when it's straight, when it's kind of like intrigue, what do you mean by intrigue when they get intrigued about the stuff? He's just asking questions rather than going away. Uh, okay. So it wasn't just Catherine that was intri well intrigued, I guess? In the recent one, but yeah, she's been the only one I've actually talked to about this for a little while. Okay, so when do you think the last time was? I'd say probably over a year ago now. Over a year ago. It's been a while. I've okay. stayed busy these last couple of years, so it's been a lot of a lot of very active lifestyle. There was no downtime. Right. So I was able to be the person I wanted to be. Of course. And Things happen. Things no, happen. And, and I think the fact that your hands aren't idle is a reason is a big reason that we can actually get this turned around. Because it's not like, you know, it's not like we have to make multiple lifestyle changes. It's not like I got to say, okay, you got to stop with the online video games. You got to just go to work, get a job. But you, you have all that taken care of. It's just now it's literally when you do have the free time. It's like, you know. So th these women that are intrigued, and again, um, you know, I, I assume did, did, were they asked for just a picture of their kid too? Sometimes and then other times it was just, just the talking with them. Okay. Did, some. did they, did they, did they ever hint at being interested in it? Occasionally, yeah, like maybe one or two of them. Okay. So when I, when I ask you this, I understand a guy can get carried away, but women kind of had no excuse because they're uh, smarter when it comes to this stuff. Um, did any of the, them send you a picture of maybe their kid naked or anything like that? Not that I can recall right now. No, that's been in the groups for people who have been paying into it. Okay. Well, so what pictures of their kids are these women sending you or did they send you? Same ones to normal, like them out like shopping or something. Okay. Did they send it to you knowing that you were into that stuff? This was before, okay. But you asked for a picture of, but you asked for those pictures. Yeah, typically it's asking for a picture of both of them. Okay. Uh, yeah. Got it. So this is kind of a, okay. So you said, I said a lot of stuff that can get me in trouble. Um, and then you said at the park, I took a video, but I deleted it of uh, basically the infant and you kind of doing stuff together. Okay. It's fabricated because it never happened. Okay. But why, why would you say I took a video, but deleted it? Because she was asking if I had anything. Okay. So making it seem like I have something, but. Got it. Okay. Something a little more kinky while we're there. Okay. I mean, the stuff the stuff uh, that was talked about with the three-year-old. I'm not going to read all of these, but I just want to highlight some just so we kind of understand here. Um, I mean, did you, did you talk about uh, like just with her three-year-old? Okay. So when you're when you're when you're type when you're typing this stuff like what is this doing to you? It's a weird mix of it's a, a bit of arousal and then a lot of anger. Arousal and, and anger. Okay, then here you say I've seen a baby under two months video not pick. She said what happened? I'm just curious. And you said she had fingers about an infant. Drew, I can see some stuff in your eyes that is tr truly sad. Um, you know, is, is, the na is the name Pedro on kicks? That's supposed to be a play on. Okay. I assume Pedro wasn't your first Pedro account. Okay. Drew, look, man, you've been doing so well so far, and this is truly something that we're getting through together. But dog these infant videos you're describing we can't only care about the toddlers enough all right look is anybody that could be listening to this is if anybody were to be you know here if your coworkers were out listening right now all this stuff yeah i understand the ramifications okay but like i said i'm not in the business of telling anybody uh you know any of your friends what's going on here okay any of your coworkers, okay but let's have full transparency i mean i think you've been 95 percent honest in the 
the other 5% is just because you're not a sociopath. 95% um, is because you care. But there's always going to be stuff people hide because, um, you know, if you were a straight up sociopath, you would have told me everything and I'd be disgusted. But I'm not. You actually have emotions. I can see it in your eyes. But Jesus, dude, there is, we're, we're, we're both in our different ways. I mean, you've seen this stuff a lot. I've heard about this stuff a lot. I, dude, this is, I, I think you can probably tell, this is my first time talking to somebody about this stuff. Um, you know, we've come across people with 50,000 images. Yeah. Do you think I talk to them for as long as you? No, of course not. We've come across people who, offender, like, man, it's bad, man, it's bad. Okay, and all of them are old and been doing it their whole life. I know this is going to stop today, but you need to yeah, you need to tell me like if it's, if it's been if it's been nine years on kick. I mean, you got to tell me the youngest is going. It's not toddlers, dog. You got no, it's, it's to. I'm sorry. I know. I, I'm, it's okay. See, we're good. It's going younger. Okay, so are these infant videos that you described? I know you didn't take them yourself. Are they real? I'm sure they are. There's the majority of them. No, I have fabricated. Okay. There have been ones out there. There have been ones that have popped up, and again, if I see that, I go. I know you go with the but I know you watch it too. So what happens in the video? Uh, anything from orals to typical. That that is typical. To an yes. infant. Okay. What's been away from oral? Like what's been other stuff? Uh, yeah, the finger. That's, I'm, I'm sorry. So that that was a real that, thing. That one has been real. That okay. One, I don't know about that actual video. Right, but uh, you've seen but a finger in. No, that's fair. I got you. Um, how long do they go typically? Again, that like 30 seconds. 30 it's, seconds. It's short videos. Got it. I'm sweating. I'm sorry. No, no, you're good. Um, so these are also in the toddler groups or? Okay. Uh, anything recent here in the toddler group? No, I got on uh, a couple of days ago. Sure. And deleted my account. Uh, it was okay. had been posted yet. I got off before anything reached that point. Okay. I knew I was coming into work, and I'm like, I have going. The right. Am I doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to need a full faith. Are you Christian? I'm not. What are you? Uh, Norse pagan. Okay, so you're an Odinist kind of. Okay. No, I respect that. I got some. Uh, I got some Russian in me. Apparently, the Vikings originally came from Russia, not Scandinavia. Or it would explain a lot with the cold weather stuff. Do you like cold weather better? Like both. Oh yeah, well the like Vikings the, being cold yeah, weather. I like the heat with uh, with this stuff, but I grew up on the West Coast. So I grew up hiking mountains and everything. So it was... Did you grow up in Eugene or somewhere else? No, it would have been uh, like near Portland, Oregon. Oh. Uh, what a <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful, but no, what a no, what a I'm not there anymore again with it being bad. Um... Yeah, can you, can you imagine uh, stepping on, can you imagine every single CP video or image you've seen? Probably, um, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a dumb. It's really pretty, but it's it's just so sad what what what's happened in that city. And you know, it's it's not only yeah. I, I get it. The Democrats, I understand it. But at some point, no matter who's in office, people need to take accountability. And um, community is a big thing, and when your community's gone, right? Everything's gone. Right. Like my thing is, if Portland just elects a Republican, I just don't think everything. I, I just don't think the tent cities are going to magically turn into homes. You know, like it's it's, it's bigger than that. But anyway, that's a whole other rant. We can uh, have you. Have you been? Have you been to um, Gresham and Hood River before? Yeah. Yeah, I, I've been in that area a couple times. Beautiful. I, I love Oregon. It's a, it's a really nice state. Just. Uh, yeah, I love visiting. Still, it's, it's pretty to go through. Yeah. Someone just needs to take a dump on the Salem Capitol and just you know make it. Make, you know, it's whatever. It's a whole other thing. But um, okay, so there has been some infant stuff. So when did you first? When was the infant stuff first displayed to you? Probably three years ago. And okay. That was probably my long hiatus from kick. Okay. Saw it and then went. I think I spent like a year or two completely off. And just Good. Couldn't. Okay. Well, actually, you know what I'm going to do? You got to put this in the car. Just put all of it in the car. Just, uh, you can rip the chats up too. And, uh, just you know where I, where, you know where I have the bag of fried pickles. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just just, just rip that shit up. Just put it in that trash area there, and uh, just put my phone in the middle. Okay. Yeah, I think 
I think we've graduated from needing those, man. Um, okay, so, but here, here's what I do want to know, Drew, okay? And like I said, I think, you know, I don't fully know how paganism works, but I, I'm sure there's forgiveness and I'm sure there's atonement and repentment. You know, I'm not even Christian myself, but, you know, I know a lot about the gospel. And I have a, I have a good friend named Agent Orange. Um, he's a total, but he's a, he's a really a, he's a really good guy, and you know he kind of just keeps me guided spiritually in a way. Um, so, this is what I want to know. You know, if something happened to you as a kid, and if something, if you've been on kick for nine years, which again, it sucks it's even available because you know it doesn't do anything but exasperate it. Look, I, I do want to know what has happened between you and somebody younger, like a, a child. I, oh, come I'm on. Gonna, I'm, I'm going to promise on that one. Uh-huh. That has been my, like, worst fear of actually happening because I don't. I know my mother went through stuff when she was younger. Right. I went through my own stuff. I cannot actually do that. I can't. I have a nephew. He is three. Mm -hmm. Could not ever do that. He is my favorite person in this could not ever do that. He's the only person I've legitimately lost my mind over where it's almost in an accident a few years back when he was a baby baby. Yeah. Sorry, he's five. He's just started from kindergarten. Jesus. Um, but almost in an accident, someone pulled in front of us, almost T-boned him, and I was so concerned about him in the back seat that I threw my door open to try and fight the person, and I had to catch myself with my sister screaming at me because I just... I couldn't let anything hurt. All right. I, and I promise to God, I'm, I've been, honestly, I'm trying to be as honest as I can. Obviously, mm -hmm. there's some the infant, I'm sorry. That's one that's never happened. Ever. Okay, so when Catherine asked you about the thing that happened, you said you were in middle school and somebody was fooling around with you, like... That, like, a lot. That, a lot. Um, I know that sounds, now is probably going to sound like I'm lying my fucking way out of things, but... We could do a live attempt or text on that, and it would show that I'm being, I'm being honest. Well, well, Drew, I mean, look, I, I know, I, I know your, I know your thing for you is kind of, you know, I know it's, I know, I know a thing is single moms with kids. Okay, I know that's a thing. I know Catherine isn't the only one you've talked to with that, obviously, because you told me. I know it's every single time. It's, it's a, and you know, again, you were not born like this. You were not naturally like this. But you know, the internet and what happened to you made you. But again, if an outside factor made you a certain way, an outside factor can unmake you a certain way. But if it's ingrained in you genetically, then I, can't, I, can't, I wouldn't be telling you there's help, but I'm telling you there's help because you know, we, we can get this fixed. But you know, I know, I see the tears in your eyes, I know, it, but get, I know getting this out to somebody who actually understands, um, it, it can help, it really does help. And you know, again. Um, and that's where I like the moms, but I like it online with their kids online it's easier because i don't have the full urge to do things and that's why i don't i would not date an actual mom right now that man i've put my leg here you're, you're stretch like the most recent ex again 29 no kids okay that that was the preference because of that well to tell me um how many of these moms say you know if there was a slight if there was a slight not fully on the truth with the infant stuff how many of these moms have and this is at this point, this is snitching on actual okay? So this is something that can separate, that can actually separate you from these There's no need to guard them. How many of them have actually sent you nudes of their kids? Let's start with that. Like live, like actual? Um. Because I can't tell what's actually their kid and what's not. That's, okay. that's the thing. I, how, how many of them I have told you, numbers. how many of them have sent you, sent, how many of these moms sent you a nude of a kid and said it's mine? Let's start with that. Okay. Uh, if they're sending an actual thing that might be their kid, I typically say I want like a clean picture, nothing actually that but it's more real. Okay. It's not. But these quote unquote moms did send you a nude of a kid. Okay. Did they and they said it was their kid? Well. No. So it's if it's their kid, I'm asking them for a cleaner picture because that's. But they have sent pictures of kids that even if they didn't say it, it could have been. It could have been. Okay. So, so I won't say it wasn't. It, it could have been. Well, how did that... So this was an individual chat then? It would have been, but again, nothing in the recent... Sure. So well, it's all 
older. So is this on meat or text where they were sending that? Uh, kick, usually. Okay. They start in something like meet me and then go into kick. Okay, and these are moms. Yeah. Okay. Um, how many times have they video chatted with you? None. None? No, Catherine was the first, and that's why that we video chatted for like a second, and then I hung up, because I was like, yeah, 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 I got you. Well, so what was the context of these moms sending a nude photo of a kid? Like, how old did the kid, I mean, you said it's one or two times. How, how, what, how old do those kids look that they sent you a picture of? Like eight to 13. Eight to 13, there. okay. Did they say their kids were around that age as well? I'm going to say I can't remember, just because again, it wasn't recent, so I cannot. Sure, that's fine. But I'd say probably, they probably did confirm that. Okay. Um, so were these, uh, were these like a video or a picture if they were sending of these kids? Pictures, okay. Was this a boy or a girl or boys and girls? Girls, okay. And they said they had a daughter around that age? Okay. How many, how many nudes did they send you like? It was just one person sending multiple nudes, one person sending a couple, like what was it? No, it would have been like one person sending like maybe one, maybe two. Okay. Uh, small numbers, still that. I see the one and maybe I have my fun for a minute and then I go. Right. So, did they claim it was their kid in any way? They did claim it was their kid? Okay. May I take your phone, please? Yeah. Just uh, set it into airplane mode. Just don't. No, I know. Put it into airplane mode if you don't mind. Okay. Just uh, just gonna put it right. Just put it right there. What's your last name, Drew? Andrew. Oh, French. Uh, Welsh. Welsh. That's awesome. Well, this is your last chance to tell me, man. Has there been a kid in person? Okay. All right. Just be fully honest, okay? Like I said, I could still vouch for you because I have to do it, but I also can say that you've been nothing but great. How's it going, sir? Doing all right. How are you? Yes, sir. So there is a situation here, and just tell me if I'm wrong here, okay? Basically, on this phone that's now in airplane mode, there was on it. Is that right? Okay, but you deleted it from your actual gallery. Okay. But it was actually on the phone, is okay. And this individual has been in groups for the past nine years, and um, you know, ha need need some help. I mean, you've seen infant videos, toddler videos. I mean, am I pretty much right, Drew? I'm I'm correct about that. Okay. And it happened on this phone, like these kit groups and all of that. Okay. So we have a group where we catch online child, and uh, that's pretty much. He has uh, been or child communities have been kind of bringing him into some stuff and he's been doing it on that phone right there and he said it on your body cam that happened on that phone and um, yeah we just want to turn over this to you guys okay. and we've uh how did, how did y'all uh, so we have like a so uh, my friend um, she's 23 but he was uh, messaging her on a dating app a 23 year old and um you know he was aware that she had an underage kid an actual real one this isn't like some decoy shit. this is like a real underage kid and um he started sending a bunch of cool messages about that underage kid wanted to be with him so i basically i basically messaged her because you know i we like do this around the country we're from houston but we you know we just happen to be in league city today um i just messaged her like okay ask him this ask him that just basically like to ask about this be seen online to confirm it like he hasn't sent any uh, we haven't obviously haven't sent him any pics of the kid um but you know we just confirmed that he was more it, he's been into more than just her, who he, her about her kid and um, once we got all that uh here we are like probably a week later um just asking him about it and we have on camera him admitting to being in groups and all that type of stuff on that phone um right now i did think he wiped it however but you know the metadata can be pulled and all that type of stuff and uh, yeah, we want to turn it over to you guys. We've been all around the Houston area and we have a lot of arrests in Texas, uh, like in all, all the way up to Amarillo and a lot of states as well, so. Okay. All right. Uh, are you able to do a written statement for me? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we have messages that uh, he sent. I know it can't be charged with solicitation because he wasn't talking to who he thinks is a kid, but you know, it gives you a background of what he's into and stuff like that. Okay. And you have 
Um, have to send to me or uh, both, both. Okay. But uh, and that's his phone right there. It's an airplane motor ready. Do you have your ID on you? Yeah, it's in the car. May I go get it? Sure. Okay. So sad.
What's up, guys? So consider joining our locals. If you like the fact that we catch predators nationwide, it's not possible without you joining our locals. On locals, you get to see over 20 catches early, completely uncensored. You get to see live predator confrontations as they happen. And you get to support the movement that has an arrest in 43 different states and convictions of 24. We do travel the most and catch the sickest. It's only $7 a month. You get more early content than Rumble. We do big content dumps every single month on locals. And can't do this without you guys. Consider joining locals.